Earlier this month, the FDA abruptly canceled a meeting where its advisory panel was set to consider authorizing a COVID vaccine for kids under age five. Now, the move was a gut punch to parents who've been anxiously waiting for the chance to vaccinate their youngest children, too. We talked with Dr. Arnold Monto, the chair of that advisory panel, about what happened behind the scenes and why he thinks it was absolutely the right call. The vaccine uh, wasn't performing as well as hoped. Otherwise, things would have gone through. Pfizer had announced in December that two doses of its COVID vaccine had not produced sufficient protection in children ages two to four. The dose for kids under five is just one tenth the dose for those age 12 and up. The problem is that it was clear that a third shot might help. And the other thing that was going on was Omicron was occurring. And we know that protection in all ages is much better with a third shot with Omicron. Monto says he fully supported delaying consideration of the vaccine because the data just wasn't there yet. You really need to be able to come out of that meeting with a clear decision if there is going to be a vote. But getting that data may be more challenging now. When COVID cases are low, it's difficult to find out if a vaccine is working. We're not just going to look at antibodies we hope we'll be able to look at actual protection. Now, that may be a little hard if Omicron decides to go away completely. Monto hopes the delay will ultimately reassure parents that no corners are being cut. Children are our precious asset, <laughs> and we worry about them, and we don't want to get it wrong, and safety is paramount. The doctor said a vaccine for the youngest children is complicated by the fact that this age group is already getting lots of other important vaccines. Experts now estimate a COVID vaccine for kids under five could potentially be ready by late spring.